We are competing in the rescue line secondary category, where a robot must follow a black line while overcoming challenges such as ramps, speed bumps, intersections, seesaws, and obstacles. In the evacuation zone, it will detect and sort alive and dead victims, placing them in their respective evacuation points. Finally, the robot must stop at the goal line. The robot structure is primarily built using Lego Easy components and by additional materials such as 3D printed grabber and cases for the side ultrasonic and open MV camera. The robot incorporates three microcontrollers EV3 for basic line following and robot construction, Arduino for additional sensors and open MV camera for evacuation zone algorithm. The robot uses two medium motors for various arm movements, helping the robot to pick and drop victims. The arm is also used to maintain weight balance in front of the robot. We have used two large motors for powering the tracks. The robot is equipped with a 1500mAh battery for powering the Arduino and OpenMV camera. The EV3 sensors include two color sensors for line following and sensing intersections. A mine sensor is gyro for detection of ramps. The Arduino sensors include three ultrasonic sensors, which are down ultrasonic for ramp and speed bump detection, arm ultrasonic sensor for detecting victims and walls inside this evacuation zone, and side ultrasonic for exit algorithm. The robot utilizes a dish layer sensor to verify if it has picked up a live victims and an LDR sensor to detect when it has picked up dead victims. Designed a proportional line follower using EV3 color sensors for precise line tracking. The program uses a formula to calculate and store the robot's position, ensuring smooth navigation. When the robot approaches an intersection, it first checks if the down facing ultrasonic sensor detects the ramp. If the ramps are undetected, the robot checks whether the color sensor sends double green. If neither of these conditions is met, it adjusts its landing position for a specific number of rotation and checks for a single green square. If the robot simply encounters a normal intersection with no greens, it runs the Pathfinder algorithm. The robot consists of a mind sensor gyro sensor which measures the roll and pitch axis to detect when the robot is on a ramp. The robot runs a program to check the gyro value by running the line following program. This helps the robot to detect the ramp instantaneously. Due to the gyro being positioned close to the color sensors, it can detect the descending ramp as soon as the robot gets tilted downwards, which significantly aids the robot in overcoming the difficulty of descending the ramps. This ability to maneuver over the ramps has much enhanced the line following software. When a robot enters the evacuation zone, it simultaneously detects the evacuation zone work using the arm ultrasonic and identifies the rescue victim with the open MV camera. After the open MV camera senses the victim, the robot aligns itself with the rescue victim until it is in the center of the open MV's view. The robot moves towards the rescue victim until one of the following conditions is met. The EV3 color sensor detects silver or a black line, or the arm ultrasonic detects the rescue victim. The digital eye mounted on the robot's handle checks whether the robot has picked up the live victim. If it does not sense the victim, it releases it from the arm and scans again for the rescue victim. The light dependent resistor verifies whether the robot has picked up the dead victim. And then the robot deposits the rescue victim at the corresponding evacuation points. We have developed a Pathfinder algorithm that significantly enhances the robot's navigation capabilities. This algorithm enables the robot to autonomously correct its course when it deviates from the designated line or encounter sharp turns. By integrating this functionality into our existing program, we have observed a marked improvement in the robot's overall performance. The algorithm precisely records the data from the EV3 color sensor, which determine whether the robot has detected the line while turning in one direction for a few rotations. If it does not, it then turns in the opposite direction for a specific number of rotations, along with precise motor rotations. By analyzing this information, the algorithm can accurately assess the robot's position relative to the line and determine the necessary adjustments in real time. This capability allows the robot to navigate complex pathways more effectively, ensuring it consistently stays on the line and successfully maneuvers sharp turns.
We have developed a model using our OpenMV camera to detect live and dead victims within the evacuation zone. This model was created with the help of the HMPulse software, which allows us to label images manually to eliminate any potential errors. When the robot enters the evacuation zone, the OpenMV camera searches for rescue victims by identifying objects that resemble those labeled in the images for the specific rescue victim by drawing a circle around them. Then, it draws a rectangle over the evacuation points and check which position the OpenMV can draw a rectangle with equivalent values for the corresponding evacuation. We have added pulley wheels on the sides of the robot to assist with wall alignment in the evacuation zone. Additionally, the robot features several 3D printed components such as a custom OpenMV camera case that positions the camera at an angle and a protective case for the side ultrasonic sensor.